Alexis Cook, Abby Broering, Hannah, Hannah Ainsworth, <laughs> Gabby Cross, Julie Valentine, Kyle Segrist, Anna Mullenkamp, Ravi Patel, Cora Weaver, Alex Dunn, Hannah Pfeiffer, Raceland Rice, Brockton Miller, Trent Whiteneck, Tyler Beck, Ben Hamilgarn. Hey Jay. Hey. Happy New Year. Holiday Homecoming Week continues as we celebrate the junior class today. Tomorrow will be Christmas for the seniors. We had lots of sports last night to celebrate, so let's get the results from Brienne Kevin. Thanks ladies. My shirt isn't showing. The boys tennis team had some trouble in their matches against Adam Central last night. AC had 23 players on their roster, so there were a lot of games played. In the end, AC prevailed as the Patriots were outmanned at a couple of places. First Shea County senior Landry Inman played against phenomenal opponent in number one singles. AC's Nathan Barger was just more experienced, won all of his games for the match victory. And at number three singles, Garrett Blackford came up with a, with a tight match. The four and seven Patriots will be home Thursday against Winchester. Next, the boys soccer celebrated senior night last night against Wapahani. In junior varsity action, Cody Degler brought home a win along with Nick Luthold and Alex Craig. Shout out to Colton McCombs for getting the hat trick. In golf last night, Duke County came in a close third with 225 points. Blackford led with 201 and Southern Wells placed second with 214. In college football, Purdue quarterback Robert Marv has retorn his ACL in his left knee. This is his third torn at ACL in his college career. Marv was injured on a sack late in fourth quarter of Purdue's 17-20 loss game against Notre Dame last Saturday. Unfortunately, Marv will be out for a few weeks. Speaking of football, tonight is here. For the ladies, how to help start off the seniors versus freshmen and sophomore versus seniors. Well, it sounds like a good time to so get up to the stadium and support your fellow classmates. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I know the junior class will be the winners in the final volleyball game. No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah? Probably seniors. The same. And powder puff. It seems there has been a lot of unrest during yesterday's 9-11 anniversary. Let's get the latest from Headline and News. Thanks, guys. And last night, U.S. Ambassador Chris Stevens was killed in Libya. It is believed that a documentary film released on YouTube angered the Muslim community. Protesters say the film is attacking the Prophet Muhammad. And soon the video spread to Cairo, where a mob scaled the walls of the U.S. Embassy. Protesters crowded the courtyard and tore down the American flag, replacing it with a black, black flag with an Islamic inscription. Late last night, Libyan officials say the U.S. ambassador and three other Americans have been killed in an attack on the U.S. consulate in the eastern city of Benghazi by protesters. Stevens was trying to help them escape the protesters when a rocket-propelled missile hit their car. Hard to believe the power and destruction a YouTube video can cause. Now let's send it back to the house. This morning, the U.S. has employed around 50 Marines to Libya to reinforce security to the U.S. Embassy. The Marines are members of an elite group known as Fleet Anti-Terrorism Security Team. Let's take it to in the news for our latest news. I don't know. Texas officials are hoping for more motorists, motorists in other states out west to legally increase their speeds on the interstate. 
Currently, Texas and Utah are speed kings at 85 miles per hour. Top speed limits in 35 states is at least 70 miles per hour. Other motorists are worried about the increase in gas prices, along with driving at even higher and reckless speeds, which may endanger other drivers. Let's send it back to our host. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Just like every other phone, you walk out of the store and a few weeks later a new one comes out. It's too expensive to keep up. But here's something you can afford. A lot of movies come out this week on DVD. Let's go with to that with the list. Thanks. This week's DVD releases in the re-release of James Cameron's Titanic. The 1997 film brought in, mil brought in millions worldwide as it billed as one of the most expensive films made over at over 200 million. Next, next is Snow White in the Huntsman starring Kristen Stewart and Peter Fernandino. And for comedy, what is expecting when you are expecting? The film stars Cameron Diaz and Jennifer Lopez. Other chick flicks are October Baby and Girl in Progress. If you like action thrillers, check out for greater glory, celebrity birthdays today is Yo Ming, Chinese basketball player, is 22. Now let's send it back to the Jenna. Thanks, girls. Reminder, Spirit Night at the football stadium starts at 6.30. You must have a bracelet to get you into the gate. Stephanie. Um, keep going. All right, it's time to vote for the king and queen for homecoming. Today is the last day to get your vote in from 3.15 to 3.30 after school. And the JCHS students are asking everyone to wear blue for the homecoming game. Celebrate blue Friday at the game. Well, now it's time to send it to Stephanie with the weather. Thanks girls, another sunny day in the clear skies tonight as you head out. Let's take a look at what's in store for homecoming parade and the game this Friday. Today we have a high of 84 and a low of 59. Thursday we have a high of 82 and a low of 58. Friday we have a high of 77 and a low of 57. Saturday we have a high of 68 and a low of 50. And Sunday we have a high of 70 and a low of 50. Well, that's all I have here, so let's send it back to the host. Thanks. Thanks. Anyways, birthdays for today are Rebecca Wallace, Brooke Thomas, Adam Abbott, and Cajun Mock. Shout out to Adam Abbott. <laughs> Lunch is Sloppy Joe, spinach, and mandarin oranges. Yeah. Yeah, spinach. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Anyways, that's all we have, so. so Stay classy, Jay. Later.